One way to reduce cheating on quizzes is to have a bank of questions and then have my courses choose a random number of those questions. This ensures that each student gets a different que quiz questions and in a different order. You can set up more than one random section within a quiz. It's important to have a good understanding how random sections work in my courses before creating them. This quick guide will explain a number of properties of random sections which include how random sections are displayed, knowing that you cannot create questions within a random section. The questions must be imported from a question library. You cannot move questions that are not in a random section into a random section because the questions must be imported from the question library. Each question within a random section must have the same point value. And finally, questions within a random section cannot count as, a bonus, quest as bonus questions. So I'm going to show you each one of these and visually be able to show and explain how they all work. I'm going to click on submission review and quizzes to get to my quizzes. I'm going to click on the name of the quiz um, and I want to add random sections or I want to show you the random sections. So the first thing is, is how are random sections displayed? So as you can see on the properties tab you're going to see a purple icon so note that you, you want to, may want to review uh, the quick guide on creating random sections to learn how to get, the, get these added to the quiz. This purple icon means that this is a random section. So next to this icon is the name of the random section. And then in parentheses, what you're going to see is it's going to tell you how many questions are chosen from the pool of questions. So you'll know that I chose four and there are ten questions in the pool. In this set, there are two questions that I'm choosing from, and there are seven in the pool. Now, underneath the name, the section name, you'll also see a question and then the question number. Question one, question two, and then you're going to see it says random question. And then under the type, it's going to say RND. And that RND stands for random. So that's how you know that this is a random section. So that's how they are displayed. So the next thing I want to talk about, uh, the next property, is that you cannot create questions within a random section. So I'm going to click on Add and Edit Questions. Notice this New button. When I click on that New button, I can add new sections, new random sections, new uh, questions, and all of that. What I'm going to do now is click on the name of a random section. Notice that there's no New button. That's because within the random section, only the import questions. This means that the questions must reside in a question library before you can add them to a random section. So you may want to go and review how to import questions from a quiz into a library quick guide in order to understand how to get your questions, if you already have them in the quiz, to, a ran to, to the question library so that you can then add them to a random section. The next property I want to talk about is, and I'm going to click on done editing questions here is uh, moving questions into a random section. So I'm going to go to Add and Edit Questions. And then you'll notice that I have a set of questions right here. And if I checkbox those particular questions, and then I click Move, because maybe I want those questions into my random section, you would think that it would be very easy just to go ahead and move them into that. But you'll notice that the random sections are, are not displayed for the destination you, that you want to move the selected item. Once again, the questions must be imported into the question library if you wish to use them in a random section. And again, I would in, want you to encourage you to go review the quick guide on how to import questions uh, from a quiz into the library. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel on this now. And the next uh, property is that each question must have the same point value in a random section. So I'm going to go to Done Editing Questions. I go to Add and Edit Questions. And then I click on the name of the random section. Notice right here where it has points, and it says points each. So this means that every question in this, in this random section can only have one point. If I wanted to have two points, I can change it to two points. But every question then has the same point value. You can't have different point values for individual questions. Whereas, if I had individual questions sitting out here outside of a random section, I can have different point values for those. So one can be one, one can be two, one can be three. 
The last thing I want to show you is that a uh, property about random sections is that within a random section you cannot have uh, can, the, uh, uh, questions within the random section can't count as bonus questions. If I go to add and edit questions again what you'll notice is a column that says bonus. This means that you can have a set of questions that count as extra credit within a quiz. So if a student doesn't do it, doesn't count against them. If they do it, they get extra points. I'm going to go ahead and click on the top checkbox, but I would select these. Then I'm going to click Edit Values. And what you'll notice is under Bonus is you have a dash. And, and that means that the extra credit questions, I mean that the questions within a, bon a random section cannot act as bonus. I can only let the ones that are outside of a random section or not in a random section be counted as bonus. So that shows you a lot of the properties of a random section. Make sure you go and review the next set of tutorials, which is how to create random sections and import questions into the random section, and then how to move questions or import questions from a quiz into the question library so that you can then use them in a random section.